Hello everyone and welcome to the last tutorial that I'll be doing before I start working. Yeah, I do need to work as well. So first I'm going to open painting again. I'm going to put everything right, cursor to center. I don't like it when my cursor runs around. Close that again. And this time we're going to do something that I think is really fun to do. It's a, a cartoon roof. I'm not going to do the entire roof again, but I will do a big chunk of... Well, not a big chunk, but I'll show you how to make your own roof. So again, the fill tool, you take your color. I like my roof to be kind of brownish, like this. And then we're going to start with, uh, again, paint strokes online tiling we need to make sure that that is done I'm going to turn out this train pull this down and I forgot to go to text draw again so I need to do that all, uh, all over okay so I'm going to take this color I'm going to make it darker pull up the strain I think it should be more than good enough. Okay. Whoops, I forgot to put it on a uh, line. So, line, just a little offset. One here. And after this tutorial, I'll be waiting for what you guys want me to do a tutorial on. Not that this is hard, but uh, if you guys suggest something, I will do it. I'll also go back into making uh, time lapses because I love to do time lapses. Makes everything seem so easy. Okay, so we've got our lines of the roof and now we need to make tiles I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to start with uh, putting one right here on the side like this this is too small like so you don't have to make them even I mean I mean it's a cartoon roof so uh, it doesn't have to be even it doesn't have to be nice and straight unless you of course want to make them nice and straight then you can do that but yeah I'll be doing two roads like this put one here and put the line somewhere over there as you can see it's not completely in the middle and I can use this line and that line like so okay so we've got our two rows of uh, tiles doesn't look like much yet I know don't worry I know so what we're going to do is we're going to add in some shadow so we get some depth in there and then we're going to give it all o uh, a big shadow all over the place 20 is maybe a little bit too much I am drawing really small apparently 18 yeah that should be good I'm going to lower the strain and I'm going to make a line all the way over there like this and one over here like this this gives us the, the little idea that there is some depth to these stones. I'm going to turn down the strain some more. I'm going to up the radius and I'm going to go to my space tool. Not too visible. And I'm just going to go over my roofs, uh, my tiles a little bit so there's some more uh, difference 
in all of them. I'm doing this really fast again, so these ones don't look too nice. And now we can go into the detailing, into making them look like wooden roof tools. Uh, roof, uh, whatever it's called in English, I have no idea. How am I going to do this? I am going to drag my radius all the way down, my strength all the way up, and I forgot to go to the smear tool, so my strength all the way up. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to slowly pull out some mm, some little lines like so and I'll have to do that on all the roof tiles doesn't matter if they're not straight it's just so you've got some uh, detailing in there like this there I also like to take a little part from over here and pull them up as well this is something I do not everyone does that but I think it looks pretty nice as you can see this one is kinda empty so I'll whoops, I'll do the same over here like so so yeah that looks pretty nice and we'll have to do the same on the second row as well and the cool thing is it pops up over here if I do that. This one isn't good. This is better. And I'm almost done. Let's pull a little bit out over there. Anywhere else? Yeah, let's uh, make a small one over here and one over there. Okay, so this is this. We're one step closer to finishing it. Now what we need to do is we need to get our highlights. Yeah. We're going to make sure that these ones pop out real nicely. So how do we do that? We go back to our text draw thing. In my case text draw, I'm going to take a reasonably lighter color. I'm going to put this at 3 and I'm just going to go all the way to the top over the edge. And as you can see, it starts giving a little bit of detail. It doesn't have to be perfect. Come on. And as you can see, my mouse uh, drawing skills are pretty amazing no curves whatsoever and the last one also it could be that in uh, January I'm going to start streaming for a little bit because I'll be in Portugal then but uh, I'm not sure yet if I'll do that could be that I have a lot more other important things to do And for Christmas, I'll be in Belgium. Yay! I'm not too happy about that because uh, I heard that <coughs> a lot of uh, Christmas markets and stuff like that are going to be cancelled due to uh, the reports on terrorism. And I do understand that because 
they just started in France. I mean, it's like one week after what happened in Paris at the soccer stadium. So, God damn it! I do understand that they don't feel like having Christmas this year. But at the same time, I think we don't. Uh, ES should uh, should be eradicated. But yeah, that's a personal opinion, of course. There we go. Almost done. And this should give a lot more detail, but we're not finished yet. Then there's just one more step that we need to do. Okay. I'm also going to uh, make some tiles a little bit darker and uh, make it look like they're overlapping each other in some specific way. I'm almost, god damn it, I'm almost through. And I'm happy I'm almost through. Okay, there we go. This one. This one. And the last two. I know this is taking a long time. I'm sorry for that. Okay, so look at that. It gives a lot more detail to the object, I think. It's a personal opinion, but I do think it looks very nice, very clean like this. Now, the other thing... Um, it's still in the draw tool. Why am I going out of the draw tool? Darker, increase the radius, not too much of course, like this. And now I want to make this one, uh, this one overlap this one. So what I'll be doing is I'll be drawing a line from here to here, which represents the overlapping. And I am going to use a lot more strength line. There we go, like so, and that's technically not enough light, not enough darkening, so this should be enough, and I'm going to make this tile overlap it as well, to give it a little bit more detail. There we go. So yeah, overlapping stuff. Now I'm going to make this line a little bit darker because I don't like that it's still so bright. Be careful with the brush. Yeah, of course. 18, I might as well just press it in. I'm going to make this one a little bit darker. And now I am going to add a shadow and the shadow is darker and bigger. I'm going to use 36 and this gives it the impression of a shadow as you can see. And I'll do that all the way down here as well. There. So it looks like there's a shadow I hope uh, this tutorial taught you guys a little bit. I mean, I can put it on, on the model again. But, uh, I mean, I think you guys get the idea. I do have a finished one, so let me take that one. There's only one material on it, so that's convenient. If I can only find here open desktop 
painted textures and it's this one it's actually pretty dark like this shifty rz180 shifty rz180 whoops rz90 there so as you can see this is what it should look like when it's finished I did do uh, I didn't do enough shadow but uh, I guess you guys know what uh, what to do so yeah this was a, a tutorial on how to make roof wooden roof things and this will be the name as well how to make wooden roof things but yeah this is how it's finished I hope uh, you guys learned something from this Give me thumbs up on all my videos if you like them, give me thumbs down if you don't like them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.